This work. conference will now be recorded. She is thorough, concise, and always offers friendly service. As a farmer's agent, she will help you identify the insurance coverage that best fits your needs with her precise, straightforward, and personalized suggestions. To help make you smarter about insurance, she has the knowledge and experience to help you better understand your coverage options, whether that's auto, home, renters, business, and life insurance. You can reach her on social media platforms and call her at 669-221-7664 or text her at 408-703-0070. And today's quote is by Jeff Bezo. Your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Today, our sponsor is Sophia Pony, our first speaker. Sophia. All right, thank you, Terrence. So hi, everybody. Um, it's great to see everyone. Again, my name is Sophia Pony. I'm gonna share my screen and show you my slideshow here a little bit that I started. Um, so again, I am Sophia Pony. I am the CEO and owner of Pony Insurance um, Agency uh, here in the Bay Area with Farmers Insurance. And as Taryn says, uh, you know, I have done this, you know, been in insurance for a while now. And my strategic vision is basically to educate the community, my clients about insurance, about financial literacy, how to protect their assets, retirement, life insurance as a cash tool and annuity. Um, so I have been given the privilege of understanding insurance and explaining it to people and my clients um, of how this works, how we think about insurance and um, not to look at it as just a regular bill, like a cable bill. This is something that will protect your assets. This is a bill that you pay. And in return, you know, the insurance company is going to pay your claim and that's what it's for. So that's what I like to explain to my clients and um, have them understand. It looks like I'm on the wrong page. There we go. <laughs> and um, to answer the, the, the question here is, what do you think that you do well um, when you communicate and why? And this is a great quote that I've heard a long time ago by Stephen Coffey. And most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. And I, I really had to take that in stride because I'm really anxious and eager to explain things to people about coverages and this and that. But I have learned with all this uh, knowledge that I've received is that you need to calm down and relax and let some people vent. You need to let them tell their story. You need to um, be empathetic and understand where they're coming from. Then you can put your plan in action and then explain, okay, here's what I can do. This is what may be possible and go from there. So when I break it down and when I slow it down um, and let that person explain where they're coming from or what's going on with them and, and have the empathy to understand their situation, then we can move forward. Um, there's roadblocks when when you just basically kind of jump in and and cut people off all the time so i think the rule of thumb is is you know for me um what i do well is i i let them just talk and then i can move on to the next thing um so what strategies have i put in place to continue closing the deal so i'm very active in social media on linkedin on instagram on facebook i have my business facebook page and i've done um, a few um uh, webinars here with terrence and we've done this wonderful mixer back in february or excuse me in december the blue one here up on the top where we did a meet and greet in december in san francisco and so that was great. A lot of people came, um, gave out business cards. Networking is the biggest thing. Those are my strategies on, on networking is just bringing people together with COVID. Now we, you know, Terrence has, has moves his platform virtually, which is wonderful. Um, I've been on uh, Dwayne Aiken's uh, podcast show just yesterday. You guys should tune in. We talked about life insurance. I do another podcast um, with Sharon Bohman, and we really explain about home insurance and um, 
and you know what are the pros and cons and and staying on top of the market so being relevant understanding the market trends in the bay area um of, or even all of california especially with what's going on with the economy and and having that knowledge where somebody can come to you and say hey i know sophia is really thorough and she understands this and she you know she talks about it she's she's compassionate about it she's passionate about it as well and and i'm going to get the best information from her um going out to my small business um owners this is not my client here with the pizza their tandoori pizza they're just local here in the area i've had their pizza many times it's wonderful and you know i just wanted to help them out it had it wasn't where i wanted just their business of course i do but um i want to promote them this is a small business owner that i know is struggling in my area i put it on linkedin and it has over a thousand views I do uh, financial literacy workshops with ARC and Defy. This is another thing I'm passionate about is the reality population. Um, I have a background story where my brother had been in and out of prison so many times that my parents weren't able to get his um, citizenship. So the last time, you know, back in the 80s, he got deported back to Fiji Islands. So not only did we lose him once to um prison we lost them again ultimately just by being deported so um having people that are in and out of prison understanding financial literacy when they come out um understanding just how insurance works you know i'm proud to to help that community so that's how i stay relevant this is how i close the deal these are my strategies of just always being prominent in the community um being passionate about who i am and and the communities i want to serve and so the the quote or the sentence basically is, is actually a quote here and as russell simmons says you know compassion is the ultimate expression of the highest self and i truly believe that you always have to make that human connection that um you never know what anybody's going through until you talk to them so don't assume and give them your compassion you know just just lift them up and and um help them out so that's what i try to do as a small business owner <laughs> Um, it's it's a human need, uh, regardless of of what you do in life, and and that's how I I um, stay relevant. That's how I run my business. And again, I am uh, Sophia Pony, CEO of Pony Insurance Agency. Uh, again, here in the Bay Area, but I am licensed in uh, the whole state of California. So if there's any business insurance um, clients that you know you need some type of help with your professional liability, E and O general liability, please reach out to me. I will answer any question that you have. And um, I believe that's it. And there we go. Thank you, Sophia. You're welcome. Absolutely. Our next speaker is the phenomenal Norman <laughs> J. Liverpool. Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you guys don't mind. I, I, when I talk, I like it to be like a conversation. So I'm just talking to y'all like y'all are at my dining room table, okay? So my name is Norman J. Liverpool IV, and I am dynamic, I am intentional, I am unapologetic, and I'm unashamed. I am the founder of Over the Top Living, where our mission is to live in purpose and to live on purpose. Our programs are specifically designed with the LGBTQ plus community in mind. And what we do is we support you in finding your voice, choosing your impact and sharing your story. And the idea behind that is when you share and own your story, you take back your power in your life. You're able to create healthy boundaries with other people and your past, and you're able to live in the power from sharing your, your voice. Um, in addition to that, I'm also a motivational and keynote speaker, and I'm also the first male graduate of the Powerhouse Academy. So when we're talking about what I do well when I communicate, I listen. And I listen to words and I listen as well as to tone and to body language. I always present myself authentically. Um, and I do that because I'm a human just like everyone on this call. And the, the point is to create a connection. Once I created that connection, communication will flow freely. Another thing, I also create a sense of urgency and, uh, and display my value. The most important way to communicate is to fully listen and be present in the moment so that you can fully understand the need 
and present why you are the solution. When we're talking about strategies um, that I've put in place to close the deal, in my role as the founder and experienced director of Over the Top Living, I find that listening allows you to more effectively communicate, just like Sophia had talked about previously. Um, and the reason why that works is it because it allows you to have a fuller understanding. This is actually what led me to create the signature mentorship program specifically geared towards the LGBTQ plus community. To close deals is very simple. I do me, right? I listen, I empathize, I use my over the top, out of the box mindset to come up with strategic coaching program tailored for my particular client. I'll give you an example. Recently, a friend of mine on Facebook had tagged me in a post um, for someone that was posting that, you know, they had issues with insecurity. They wanted to get over these things. So I said, let's dig a little deeper. So I scheduled a call with him. And on that call, we realized that some of the, 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 the main source of his insecurities were childhood trauma that he didn't even put two and two together. And so that's why it was important for me to listen, because in, in showing people how to share their story and own their voice, sometimes we have to close this. My mom always taught me we have one mouth and two ears, so we should be listening twice as much as we speak. And so the most important thing to always remember is that you are you, and not everyone is your client. And that was something that really, it took me a while to grasp because we wanna reach as many people and do as much as we can. But I realized, I even shared with some of my powerhouse sisters that I find joy in knowing that not everyone is my client because that allows me to focus on who is my client. And I do that by leading intentionally and authentically. Now this one I really like, if you could say a sentence to the whole world, what would you say and why? That's easy. I say activate your power by finding your voice, choosing your impact, and owning your story. And I would say this because I had to do the same thing. As a gay Black man, I had to rewrite my story, so to speak. And what I found was that certain people were banking on me being quiet. And most of the time, that was because they could not own their part in my story. And so because they could not understand or own the negative or the bad things that they did to me, they try to keep you quiet. And so what I found is that that was a suppression of my own power, right? So the moment I began to speak up and live in my truth, unashamed and unapologetic, there was a sense of power that came over me. And that has what has been um, basically what has equipped me to serve my my community. And the last thing that I would say, just a caveat on that, is your story is your own. And I use that, that analogy. If I were to walk up to somebody and slap them, let's just say, right? And if they go and put, well, Norman slap me, I can't get mad at them for saying that. And that's what I did. So every part of your story, you own that. And don't allow anything, embarrassment, guilt to stop you. As you see, my mom is on this call today. You know, we went to, we went through a process just to be able to get here, right? But she owns her story, I own my story, and we own the parts of each other's story that we're in. So I put my all of my contact information in the in the, the chat. And again, I understand that my clientele is not everyone, but guess what? You may know someone that knows someone. And so I invite you to connect with me on Facebook, um, either by using my full name, Norman J. Liverpool IV, or at Over the Top Living Now. My email is at is Norman at Over the Top Living. Dot com. And I, I invite you to connect with me because we will be launching our next five day challenge, which is called Loud and Proud Own Your Story Challenge. And this is a five day challenge that kind of abridges my six week program to be able to give you just a small little appetizer of what it's like to work with me. Um, if you want to connect with me on other platforms, you can research Half the City podcast. You can re research You Ain't Famous podcast. I'm a speaker for College of Southern Nevada. You can catch me on Des TV, which is a Facebook live stream. Um, I will be on the I Am This Woman podcast next week. And I also host two shows on my Facebook, 
one every Wednesday night at seven, which is called Quarantini Time, Connecting Through the Distance. And then I have a show on Saturday morning called Sassy Assy Saturdays, which is on Saturday at 9 a.m. And that gives you your pep and your jump for the weekend. So again, I just want to thank Terrence for the opportunity to share. My name is Norman J. Liverpool, and I am over the top. And Norman, you will be back. And that's a fact. Our next speaker is Angela Johnson. Angela, you are next. <laughs> so sorry about that. I was doing something else. Uh, again, my name is Angela Johnson. Um, I am a realtor here in Nevada. Um, my primary location is Henderson, uh, the outskirts, but I work all over the valley. Um, I do work for a boutique brokerage called Resolution Realty right here on St. Rose Parkway and the 215 Freeway. Um, my strategic vision for all for, for this is to help educate home buyers through the process of buying homes. And in doing so, I have been very successful um, with helping buyers to purchase homes. Um, what do I think? I do well in communication. I think that because I am uh, transparent with my with my clients, I am um, I do listen. I, I watch the body language of my client. So therefore, when they send me a home, I can kind of look at it and preview, preview it. This is video pod. I can preview it. Um, and I'll know whether or not they like it before we even get out there and see it. And that has gone very well for me. Um, I do look at their body language again. And just like Mr. Liverpool said, um, body language. And once you make that connection with the actual client, it works. It totally works. So word of mouth, uh, my strategies for for all of this for closing deals and continuing to close deals i do a lot of open houses i do door knocking i have a website i, I do have a zillow platform i use um a platform also called kv core in order to connect me with buyers and it kind of is on autopilot connecting with my buyers based on what they're searching for and then once i go ahead and make that that connection and meet up with them it it all kind of just flows from there. Am I on the right? Am I on the right thing? <laughs> Hello, Terrence, are you there? I'm sorry. I'm going to continue. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place or not. Cause I'm. Yeah, no, I'm you're not fine. Seeing. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Good. Okay. Now, in, in one sentence, what would I say to the world for the world to hear? Um, I would say you have to have a vision as to where you see yourself, how you see yourself doing business with people. And you got to hit the ground and run with that and do it to the best of your ability. Um, and it for me, it is all flowed. And I think because I, I try to do things with an integrity and honesty, Sometimes in, in a home purchase, you have to tell things that they don't people things that they don't want to hear. But we lost you. They, have, I'm so sorry. My, it's going crazy for me right now. I've had a very very busy morning, and my phone is ringing off the hook here, and I'm trying to ignore it. So please forgive me. I'm going to continue. Um, and why do I see that, um, that sentence as being something for the whole world? Because if you can see it for me, you can achieve it because that becomes your focal point. You know, you kind of eat, sleep and, and, and think this business and how you want to be with your, your clients, how you want them to perceive you because word of mouth in this city here, if you have a good name, then you can go very very far and i've had people call me and tell me like you help you know so and so find a home and 
and they told me how wonderful you were with them in the process. And I'd like to know if you would like to help me as well. So that, that, that plays a big part in my success here um, doing real estate because there are, are over 17,000 realtors here in Nevada. And for someone to choose me because they heard something well that I did with someone else is remarkable for me. So again, my contact information is, um, my name is Angela D. Johnson, do business as Johnson Realty. Um, the brokerage that I work under is called Resolution Realty. It's here in Henderson, Nevada at 2580 St. Rose Parkway. Um, suite number 335. Yeah, my phone number is 702-469-7181. And you can also reach me on Facebook, Angela Johnson on Facebook, Angela Johnson on LinkedIn. I do have an Instagram. It's a lovely Lala3 on Instagram. Um, I don't do Twitter. But you can also look up my, uh, my uh, website is a Johnson at homefinderlv.com. If you're searching for a home, you can always shoot me a message. Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak here today. You're welcome. Make sure you put your contact information upon your arrival on the webinar in the chat room, everyone. Our next speaker, we're going to pivot one quick second, but we're going to stay in the order, is Dan. Hey, Terrence. So hey, good buddy. to see you. And uh, Sophia, Norman, uh, and Angela, tough to, tough to follow your stories, but... Um, as always, it's really a, a pleasure to be back here and to meet so uh, so many people for the first time and hope, hopefully not the last. Uh, but my name's uh, Dan Lamott. I uh, am originally from Southern California, uh, but now live between Pennsylvania and Puerto Rico, where my wife is from and where our kids were born and where, where our real heart is. Um, I run a company that's called Threshold.World. It's a software business that focuses exclusively on nonprofits. Uh, and we're effectively in the business of leveraging technology to save lives. Uh, and what we say is that we uh, believe the world is at a threshold moment and the decisions that we make at this point in time will determine the future of life on the planet. And technology's story, uh, role in the story is just beginning. So we have the pleasure of working with uh, a lot of different nonprofits and large technology companies to try to accelerate the impacts and outcomes that nonprofits uh, seek to achieve through their missions. Um, what do I think I do well when I communicate? Uh, we have we have a, a core value for our family and for our company, and, and it's humility. Um, you know, a lot of times people think that humility means holding yourself back. You know, Norman, there's no way I could say it better than you, Mr. Liverpool. Uh, it's it's really about trying to authentically be you and finding that right balance between you know, being egotistical and holding back on who you actually are. Uh, and so I try to bring that to every relationship and every contact that I have. It's incredibly important, especially in the business that we're in of, of serving you know, individuals that uh, both deserve, but often uh, and often need, need the kind of support that, that many people don't, don't have to seek on a regular basis. Um, so what I try to do in closing deals is uh, just bring that to every conversation, right? And, and at the same time, always be willing to walk away when I'm not right uh, for uh, a, a, an opportunity. Um, it's really important to not have customers that, that aren't right for you uh, and not right for your business and not right for your personal ethics. And, and uh, unfortunately, that's, that's just a reality of, of humanity is that none of us are perfect and sometimes things don't align. So being really honest about that and, being humble about when it's the right time to walk away. The sentence that I would use is uh, not my own. It's, it's by C.S. Lewis. And uh, C.S. said, humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. And I think that's something that we, we should all, you know, remember, remind ourselves of uh, at least a couple times a day, uh, so maybe every hour for, for some of us. Um, but um, that's my story, and, and I'm sticking to it. And Terrence, I love being here, and I can't wait to hear everybody else's stories. And uh, thank you for this opportunity to, to spend a few minutes with you all today. Thank you, Dan. Make sure you make sure that you put your contact information in the chat room. Our next speaker is Mrs. 
Gutierrez, Money Coach. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Terrence, and thank you, Sophia. So um, I am a money coach, and I am also a debt slayer. I am a very compassionate, genuine, and passionate person. Those of you that know me can attest to that. I am on a mission to help improve the lives of others. I help people by improving their relationship with money, with overcoming their limiting beliefs, and rewriting their own money story. What do I think that I do well when I communicate and why is I come from the heart. I have 15 years of experience of having my own financial problems. I know the stress. I know the, I know the pain that it can cause to be in debt. And that's one thing that my clients know about me. I'm very transparent with them. They know my situation. They know what I've done. In a matter of one year, I have been able to pay off over $15,000 in credit card debt. Was it easy? No. I sacrificed a lot. But all those sacrifices made my success. And my, my clients see that. And I open up to them. I have built my program based on the success that I've had with my clients. 23% of Americans have gotten into more credit card debt due to COVID-19. All of my clients have saved money and are now in a better um, state than they were before starting my program. What strategies have I put into place to continue closing the deal? I provide valuable tools for their success. I open myself up to my clients and I give them results. In return, they help me out and they refer people to me. They know that I'm a very genuine person and I gain their trust. To have somebody open up and to tell you their financial problems, that's very deep. Money is a very painful thing to talk about. And you all know that not everybody is up front. But to be able to connect with the person and have them op open up to you is a blessing. What sentence would I say to the whole world? I would say, spend less money than you earn. Why do I say that? Because you cannot live a healthy life if you're always worried and stressed out about your finances. Money is one of the number one causes of divorce. Thank you everybody. And uh, for this opportunity, um, you can find me on Instagram, Mari underscore Debt Slayer, Facebook, Mari Preciado Gutierrez. And my email address is preciadomaryagna at gmail.com. I'm a newlywed, so I'm still adjusting to the name change. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Barbara. Awesome. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Yes, Norman. I see you, my brother. All right. Who am I? Uh, my name is Barbara Horde. And if you were to say, who is Barbara Horde? I wrote down some words because I didn't want to mess this one up, right? but I kind of know this. I am brilliant, I am dynamic, and I'm a superstar in whatever realm I'm in. And um, I, I love being able to really own that and honor my truth of who I am. When it comes to what business I am, I have a couple of different hats I wear. Uh, I am the executive, excuse me, executive director for a nonprofit called A Prom to Remember here in South Florida, and we create prompts for kids who are battling cancer. Um, that is something that has honestly was not something that I had planned on doing. I was working in corporate, corporate job went away. And next thing I know, I'm working for a nonprofit. My passion, because that's my profession, but what my passion is, is that I created something called I Am This Woman. Um, one day I just decided, you know what, if Oprah's out there interviewing everyone else, well, I'm going to create a show on Facebook that I get to interview people and just women and ask them, what are you up to? What are you creating? What are you doing? And really create a platform. And a lot of times when you see different groups, it's about what they do. It's like, I do this, I do that. But what I'm doing is I'm bringing women on the show and men, because Norman will be on my show next week. But I want you to create a space that whoever is watching, they're growing they're learning and and they can see within themselves something that you might be sharing with them and I'm at, also I do some consultant work for marketing I have 20 years background in marketing creative services events trade shows 
So I kind of run the gamut on doing a little bit of everything. Um, strategic vision. Uh, I would say always able to pivot. And I was on a webinar last night, they were talking about the pivoting. And because I think that's so important because if you would have told me years ago that I would be working for a nonprofit, I would be like, there's no way I'm not. I work in corporate, I work for big corporations. And when things happen, you have to know how to pivot. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be clear about it. And you have to know that when whatever you're up to, whatever you're doing at that moment, everything that you're doing, you have years worth of experience. And then if the things that you don't know, I always say Google is my best friend. If I don't know how to do it, I bet you either I know someone who might know or I am quick to get on Google and say, how do I do this? So that's something that I think is, is really important. What do you think you do well when you communicate and why? Um, I listen. I One of the things is when you're taking the time to interview someone like what I do at my show every week, I have to stop and listen because if you stop and listen, there are so many golden nuggets. There are these little golden nuggets in there. And if you can stop and listen to those, you're learning, you're growing. And then what you can do is you also bring it back because sometimes when people are talking to you, they don't even know what they're saying. And all of a sudden they say something and, and you'll repeat it and they'll go, I said that? Was that something that was part of me? So I'm really big on listening and really creating that space for that. Um, I just think it's just one of the most important things that we can do. Uh, the strategies that I have for closing the deal. Um, I do my research, okay? I think you come into the table with not just, if, if you're only just there to say, well, you told me to be here at this table. Here's my thing. It might be your table, but best believe I'm bringing my plates, I'm bringing my champagne glass, I'm bringing everything to the table. So I'm bringing my own things to the table also. I'm letting you know that when I come to this table, it might be yours, honey, but I can tell you like this, in this spot right here, this is mine right here, right? So know what you're doing, be clear about that and really come to the, to the table being ready to close that deal. And that goes for when you're asking, when I'm asking someone for tens of thousands of dollars, right, for a nonprofit, then I have to understand what it is. But I also am bringing something to the table so that they know that I am serious, just as serious about being at their table. And if I could do say one thing in a sentence, um, I would tell you this. I would say that when it comes to it's the truth of who you are and it's owning your truth. It is saying that you embrace, you embody, you empower, and within you is your essence. And that essence is your message. And when you trust in that message, when you believe in that, right, then that's who you're coming with. So the best thing I would tell you to do is that each of us have a gift. We all have this gift aside. There's no surprise that any of us are on this. So if you're here, then own who you are. Deliver it with such passion and conviction and a belief that who I am, I am worthy to be here. Uh, as far as getting in contact with me, I am sending you guys like everything in the world. My name, my number is there. If you're looking because you're looking about the nonprofit and you want to know about more about that, it's Barbara at a prom to remember org. If you're saying, Barb, I love the idea of being on your show. Yes, it's so good too. You should go on it. You can send an email to, I didn't even put it down, but I'm going to put it down there, showguest at imthiswoman.com. And yes, we do take men also. I just want you to know if you're coming on there as a man, make sure you are bringing something to the women. That's something so, so important. And as far as looking me up on Facebook, it's Barbara Hoard and H-O-A-R-D. If it's, you think it's Howard, nope, it's just dropping the W on that. And if it's Facebook, the show, just look at I Am This Woman. On Instagram, it's I Am This Woman Show. And then I have also Instagram, which is Barbara Hoard. Um, and just know this. Uh, just embrace yourself and know that whatever you're doing, stand tall, stand proud, and do it with such conviction because you might fall. But if you fall, all you have to do is get right back up. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Terrence, for allowing me to be here.
Absolutely, you will be back, every last one of you all. Thank you, Barbara. Our next speaker is Ebony. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Hello, I am Ebony Dickerson, but most of all, I'm going to say that I am a woman of God. I'm a proud, 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 proud mother of two boys. Um, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. Um, actually, I'm a daughter and I'm a sister of the youngest of seven kids. So I've been around women the majority of like my whole life. So I had to just develop and just find my way through different women and journeys. So I started a line called Runway Diva Boutique and it was it was started for your every woman because I'm your every woman. I have kids, so I go to football games, I go to basketball games, I go to sporting events, I'm at church, um, I go to dates. So I found a way to for women to make or look nice wherever they at. Make that your runway. So. Um, Runway Diva Boutique's been around nine years. Um, I've been styling for 15 years. So um, my mission just with Runway Diva Boutique was just to let women know that they could be good looking wherever they are. They just had to own it. Um, so that was just my thing with that. And I would say how, I close the deal now, being in this world where people's not going anywhere and um, they don't have a choice of putting on clothes to wear. Um, I get dressed every day. I still get dressed every day. I still post pictures every day because now we're doing online dating. So you still wanna be dressed for that. Um, we're doing dating at home, um, we're doing Zoom videos that you still wanna be dressed for. So I get dressed every day, I post pictures, I use social media um, for that. Um, that's the way I close the deal a lot. Even I chat with my own clients um, with just sending out emails, um, sales per se, with using Facebook ads, LinkedIn, Instagram, all of it um my purpose i would say that i would leave with anyone today would be trust like the process you know because in this world right now we have to trust just what we set out there and the process that's happening and understand that you know it's a process but things will get better where I can be found at on LinkedIn is Ebony Dickerson. On Instagram is Runway Diva 317. Um, my website is runwaydivaboutique.com. On Facebook, just Runway Diva. I'll put all that into the chat room as well. And I want to thank Terrence for just inviting me on the show today. I'm learning a lot. Um, just watching you guys, because I'm kind of a little nervous um, speaking in front of everybody. It's easy for me to take a picture and model, but speaking is hard for me. So I'm just learning. So I'm, I'm picking everything up. So I just want to say I'm thank, thankful to even be invited here. Thank you, Ebony. Our next speaker is Jen the Rainmaker. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. My Nahuatl name is Sochi Quetzali. It means the blossoming one. I want to recognize that right now I am on Yokut's land, living in Discovery Bay. And those are the native people of this land. My ancestors were Chichimeca and Toltec. So I teach the ancient dreaming and manifesting practices that have been passed down for thousands of years through my Toltec and Chichimeca ancestors. 
They believe that our dreams literally create our waking reality. My business, I founded Dream U University where all your dreams come true. So I share these practices and teachings with my students. I am also a corporate retreat facilitator and I am a mom. I have a daughter of a 10 year old and we're actually starting a kids program. So we're starting Dream U Kids and she's helping me to create the content, to come up with the ideas, to keep it engaging. Because many of my students are parents and they have kids that they want to help get through these times. So they have found that the practices have helped them with anxiety, depression, overwhelm, um, overcoming health issues that their doctors said were incurable, and being able to grow their businesses, being able to really enrich and enhance the quality of their life. And my vision, the reason why I did this is there was a quote by Les Brown. And he said that the graveyard is the richest place on earth because that's where people's hopes and dreams are buried. So that is where people that they have their ideas that they never came to fruition, whether it was because of fear or whether it was because of doubt or limiting beliefs or ancestral issues or whatever it was. And when I heard that, it really touched me. And I had thought about all the people in my life that I had seen die that had dreams that were still in them that never came to fruition. So my vision is a world where there is nobody that is buried that has their aspirations and dreams buried with them. That if somebody has a song in their heart or a book in their heart, or they have a business idea in their heart or a hobby or something that they want to do, that they are able to create that. And I share with them the tools of being able to do that through their dreams. And part of it is reprogramming the subconscious while we're dreaming. If I'm talking about it scientifically, the other part is, re, is uh, redreaming themselves consciously if I'm talking about it more spiritually. And so with that vision in mind, when I speak with people and I have conversations with them, I am really investing my time in them. I am paying attention and I'm asking them questions and I'm digging deep to find out what is it that they really desire because sometimes people tell me, I don't know what I want or I'm not sure what my big dream is and I'm like, no, you do know, but for whatever reason, you believe it's not possible. And so I really dig deep when I have conversations with people. I think that's one of my biggest strengths is being able to ask the right questions to lead them back to what it is that is already in their heart. And for me, in terms of like strategies and things that I use to close the deal, part of it is, is I want to repel as much as I want to attract. Not all money is good money. So they have to go through an application process and they have to have a conversation with me. And I need to know that they're going to use these things in a good way. And I'm always looking beyond closing the deal, right? Because it's one thing for me in my business to get somebody to sign up. It's another thing to get them to actually complete. It's another thing to get them to implement. And so I'm always looking for ways to accelerate the results, to get them the results that they desire. So I invest as much as my time as I can to become a great teacher to find out the, the way that the brain works to help people get those results. So I'm always thinking beyond closing the deal. And I always think to myself, is this person going to be a good fit? Because if they're not, I'm, I'm they're going to refer them out or refer them to somebody else because I want people that are going to be in my course that are actually going to be able to complete, that are serious, about making a difference, that are serious about actually making their dreams come true. That's, and it's dream you because, and it's dream you one word, Y-O-U, because there's no separation between you and the dream, but you have to do the work. So I need to ensure that the person knows that there's work to be done. I'm not your savior, I'm not your guru, I'll give you the tools, you need to implement them. And, um, in terms of something that I would say to people, I would say that whatever you dream you can achieve, I've always heard that, 
but because I work with people in their dreams to create their reality, it has so much more meaning to me. But really, I would say that you can have, do, and be anything that you desire. I believe in what people would call the impossible. I believe in miracles. And so I just want people to know to believe in themselves, to believe that it's possible for them, to ask themselves, if they don't know how, ask, how can I do this and accomplish this as you're drifting off to sleep? Many famous people, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, so many people talk about how they have created these inventions through their dreams, how they have issued a command to the subconscious. So I would just really tell people to use that time wisely because we spend a third of our life sleeping, which means by the time we're 75, 25 of our years are spent sleeping. We don't need more time in the day. We just need to use the time that we already have wisely. Thank you so much for having me. Jen the Rainmaker on Instagram, Jen the Rainmaker on LinkedIn, Jen the Rainmaker on Facebook, Jen the Rainmaker on YouTube. And I also have a Telegram channel. If you get the Telegram app, download it for free. I have a channel where I share daily tips that you can use to start to begin to use that time to create the reality that you desire consciously. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Well said. Thank you, Jen. Our next speaker is Laron. Hey, um, can everyone hear me? Great. Uh, well, uh, my name is Laron Barton. Uh, first off, I, I, I want to say, Jen, like, I love what you had to say. I mean, the um, uh, the uh, graveyard being the richest place. I mean, people, so so many people left their uh, uh, their passions and their dreams and, and, and their goals die due to being practical. And it's like, you know, you really only get only get one life. So you, you really have to put it all on the line. So I, again, bra bravo to you. Um, like I said, my name is Laurent Barton. I'm a writer, speaker, author. Uh, I've written two books, uh, Straight Dope, or 360 Degree Look into American Drug Culture, and All We Really Need is Love, Stories of Dating and Relationships, Heartbreak and Marriage. A lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, I, write, uh, I, I write and I publish essays about race, mass incarceration, politics, tech, and dating. Uh, my most recent essay is called being a black man in America never feels safe. Uh, it's it was inspired by um, Ahmaud Arbery's death, and uh, just talking about how I, as a black man, the fact that I'm 41 and I'm finally seeing grays in my beard, uh, it's just unfortunately a lot of uh, black men will not be able to uh, to see that because due to police terrorism as as well as uh, racism, white supremacy. Um, I also give uh, give talks on race. Uh, I give talks on the power of sharing your story, which is something that I'm very passionate about. I, I believe that everyone has a story to uh, to share. I believe that everyone's story counts, and it's and I believe that everyone has a has a duty, a responsibility to share their story. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, "Until the lion tells a tale, the tale will always be glorified by by the hunter." And in order to have a more balanced narrative throughout the world, I think that everyone needs to speak up um so on to the questions uh what do you think you do well when you when you communicate and why um i like to think that um well i love to talk to people i'm uh, i mean like you know my my mother said that you know growing growing up i really didn't really didn't talk a lot and once i started talking she just couldn't just shut shut me up so um my fiance says that I talk a lot as well, but um, I love to hear people's stories. I love to have a great conversation with with people, and by doing that, I believe that I'm a good listener. A lot of people tend to talk to uh, tend to uh, to talk to respond. So it's like you know you're hearing something from from somebody, and you're not really taking in what they have to say, and you already have a response lo loaded up. Me, I like to truly. Uh, taking whatever the person is saying. And uh, that allows me to be a really good listener because I really do care. Uh, what strategies have you put in place to continue closing deal? One of the, uh, one of the best, uh, there, there's actually two things y'all. One of the best things I learned is to, um, is to just ask. You know, you never know um, 
where you uh, where you may be if you don't ask the question. Like if you if, if you don't ask, hey, um, do you mind if I grab your ear or uh, or hey, is this available? And secondly, uh, fo following up, you have to do a follow up email. You may think people are blowing you off, but they're not. Folks are just busy. So definitely do a follow up call. What uh, the question? What if you could say a sentence which the whole world could hear? And, and what would you say? And why? I would say stop down to yourself. Um, I think we are greater than what we realize. Um, and a lot of us going going back to what Jen, the Rainmaker said, a lot of our dreams die because we don't have the confidence. So I think that if we truly believe and, and embody how great we are, then then we can go farther. And my uh, contact information is uh, in there. It's uh, www.laronbarton.com. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, net to network and build relationships, you know, and uh, Terrence, once again, man, thank you so much. Uh, I never take this for granted. And one more thing, if you have a chance to be on this platform, a podcast, if you have a chance to speak, give your absolute best because you, because you never know that one appearance can lead to other. Don't take these for granted. It doesn't matter if you're speaking in front of five people or 500 people. Do your absolute best. So y'all take care. Thank you, Laron. Our next speaker is Honey Mary. Hello, welcome. Thank you for having me. All right. I am Honey Marie Tapia, and I am the owner of the targetedwellbeingcenter.com. It is a virtual center serving the globe. And um, we help uh, professionals shift from surviving to thriving. Um, and I was well, I'm still a professional. I have over 20 years in corporate America, working for a Fortune uh, 6 company for this entire time, the same company. Um, and comes coming with that is a lot of dedication. And um, my, in my corporate job, I am a business analyst. And so analyzing and analyzing and looking at all the details um, is really a space um, that can drive you um, away from being aligned with your truth. Um, and so for me, that led me to a near-death experience back in 2017. And as a single mother of five, not being able to uh, work and uh, run a home and pretty much um, have to rest and heal um, really impacted my life. And through sharing my story, I'm able to help others um, create happiness and balance so that they can um, shift into thriving as well. Um, and I consider thriving a state of being versus what's actually happening around you. Um, you can choose to thrive today in this moment um, through how you show up and who you be. Um, and by doing that consistently, those things around you can shift. Um, I am also the author of Stop Burnout Now. I went ahead and uh, spent last year uh, breaking down the steps so that, um, so that people can find the peace and the freedom that I was able to find. Um, if I could shout out on the mountaintops, um, I would. Um, but in place of that, I've written the book. Um, and so one of the ways that um, I communicate well we jump into the questions um, is, and I'm like, I prepared slides, but I actually feel like I'm going to be more natural for just talking. Thanks <laughs> for, for that advice uh, earlier. Um, and the way that I communicate well is listening. I think many of us have, have said that today is listening is important. Um, and so I listen to my clients' needs. Um, I hold space. And for some of my clients, that is the first time in their life that they have been heard. And there is power in that. Um, and when you can hold space for someone to speak their needs, sometimes it's the first time they've ever even heard their own thoughts with clarity instead of muddled up in their own mind. So um, listening without trying to solve um, is, is a really great tool. And it wasn't easy. Um, I actually had to take classes on how to learn to do it. So if you find that you're struggling with that, reach out and um, look for resources that can help you. Uh, what strategies have I put in place to close the deal? 
So um, I, I do lives online and I ask people to do this all the time. And that is to put one hand on your heart and one hand on your lower belly. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and become present and ask yourself if what I'm offering or what anybody is offering you in your life is right for you. So many times we go into this place of thinking and it's like, we go into this place of thinking and usually the next thing is like, well, what are other people going to think or what is the outcome going to be? And what I offer is teaching people how to trust their heart and follow their intuition. And so in that very moment, by taking them through that step versus telling them, um, it opens up and gains this like trust of themselves because they feel empowered in that moment to trust themselves. So that really helps um, close the deal. If I had a sentence that the whole world could hear, what would I say? Um, I had one of my um, very close clients, she um, shared with me that she said, you know, here's a meme. She sent me this meme and it was great teachers show you where to look, but don't tell you what to see. And so my sentence is actually a question so that you can come to your own conclusion. And my question is, if you and everyone in your organization could trust following your heart and your intuition, how much more balance and happiness would there be in your own life and everybody else's lives and in the organizations? And I'm just going to give you a few seconds to think about that um, while <laughs> I um, share with you my contact information. Because there is power in the pause. So if you just take a moment in this busy, busy, crazy life that we live in to ask yourself these things, you'd be surprised what you hear. So I invite you at this time to put one hand on your heart, one hand on your lower belly, Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and ask yourself in this moment, what is it that you need to do today? And I invite you to just be open to what you hear, what you see. Maybe it's even something you've been stressing and worrying about. But whatever it is that just came up, trust and know that it's meant for you to take action on today. So my contact information, I am known online as Mama Honey, the Serenity Maven. Um, I had to learn to nurture myself, nurture my own children, and now I help nurture the world. And you can um, find me through my uh, website, which is targetedwellbeingcenter.com. And I am also, um, you can find me on Facebook at the same uh, place. And I do have a free offer for you, which is, you know, burnout. What is burnout? And how do you create um, a balanced culture in your organization? And if that is something that you could benefit from, that your organization could benefit from, um, just send me an email at theserenitymaven at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to send a copy of that over to you. Thank you, Terrence, for having me on today. Thank you, and I look forward to having you all back on with a different group of people in the future. Our last speaker, but also phenomenal, Jasmine. Well, hi, can you guys hear me okay? I... Okay, cool. So I'm Jasmine Partita. Uh, I am the owner and founder of Jazz, uh, Partita Strategies, and I am a strategist, an activist, and a technology expert. So um, I work through um, empowering women in leadership and all in civic leadership in all sorts of ways. So I help women get elected, I help women run businesses, um, and I Got a few men I help out as well, but I do tend to go towards the women because we need to work together instead of against each other. So that's a big thing that I try to bring. Um, I do business and digital strategy. So I increase uh, marketing exposure and I help pull together strategies. And a lot of companies and entrepreneurs will come to me in that moment of chaos going, we're overwhelmed, we don't know what we're doing. And I help bring everything down and simplify it and focus it in and create policies and procedures and strategies to help them move forward. Um, an example of that was recently I worked with an opera company and I increased their marketing exposure from 60,000 non-targeted exposures to 360,000 
targeted impression in four months. Um, I do communication and design. So I do all the design work. I help uh, build out your email list and how to, um, how to market visually and with messaging. Um, and so recently I worked with a high school and I, a private high school and I increased their admission applications 50% in six months. Um, and then the other thing I do is just general increasing engagement because if you have engagement in your store, online, website traffic, what, wherever it is, if you're engaging, that means you're speaking to people and they're hearing your message and they're more likely to buy from you that way. So um, my big example of that was that I was the external communication manager for the Women's March in 2017 in DC. So I did all the emails, social media, um, I dealt with all the external communication pieces. So my strategic vision is all about um, empowering small businesses. As I've been learning these skills and web, you know, as I went through back in 08, learning website design or learning this or that, I realized that a lot of um, a lot of small businesses don't have access access to the tools they need because it is withheld from them, and they think they need all this money and all these all these different things and all these different pieces to pull together their business. So what I do is I will help build something out for someone, and then I will show them how to use it. So even if you don't wanna run your social media, you don't wanna run your website, you have the power to do it, and you have control over your business, and you learn the pieces. So as you're hiring, uh, let's say, a social media manager, you know how to talk to them, how to look at the analytics, how to track if things are going well or not, and it helps empower you as you move forward with your business. So that's a huge piece of my strategic vision. Um, how I communicate, that, that one really stuck me actually because, and I was, I've been thinking about it about 24 hours now, but I change how I communicate per client. So when you come to me and you go, okay, I'm gonna just do all this through Facebook Messenger. It's sticky, but I can do that. If you need to use Trello, if you need to use Slack, if you need to use Google Drive, whatever it is, I will meet you where you are. And I think that kind of flexibility is a big piece of how I work and how I communicate. Um, and I think when you're working with different small businesses, I mean, I've worked with flooring companies, I've worked with you know nonprofits, I've worked with corporate, you have to have a bit of that flexibility in how you communicate in order to build up your success also in your own business. Uh, strategies in place to close the deal. Okay, so um, one thing is, is showing up consistently, not just actually showing up and posting every day on Facebook, but your messaging being consistent, uh, what you bring to the table being consistent, your work being consistent. Um, that's a huge piece. People will buy from you if they trust you, and they won't trust you until they get to know you and see that you are who you say you are, and you do what you say you'll do. Um, the other thing is to stay visual. This one can be hard. Um, there's a lot of places that you can be visual right now. Should I be on Facebook? Should I be on Instagram? Um, pick the place that you are the most comfortable to start and build out from there. And in some instances, there's not enough platforms. Like this is a great opportunity, but a lot of these opportunities are rather new at this virtual space at the level that they're at right now. So if there's not an existing platform for you to be visual, make your own. So um, what I did for mine was I actually created my own podcast. Um, it was not, I was gonna say quick and easy, which is not accurate, but it was rather a simple way to create a place where I could have the conversations and build out the narrative that I wanted to and show that to people and build out that visible piece for myself. And then the other thing is know that you are your brand. So when you show up, always show up as your brand. You are your brand. Um, Norman is probably my favorite example of that. Uh, he always shows up exactly who he is and what he's here with his messaging. Um, for my sentence, uh, it is not a sentence. I cheated. It is simplify and strategize. And I say it to every single client. There's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of people trying to sell you stuff, trying to tell you which direction to go. None of it matters. You can look into it, you can learn about it, let it go. And then do what works for you, what speaks to your clients, and what process you know you can continue doing consistently. Because again, that's the piece that really matters. So I cheated, it's not a sentence. And then I put all my contact information in there, uh, jasminepartita.com, hello at jasminepartita.com, and then Partita Strategy on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram. Thank you for having me on. Thank you, Jasmine. Before we close this deal, the sponsor of today's webinar is Sophia Pony. She is the agency owner of Pony Insurance 
agency with Farmers Insurance. She has nine years experience as a small business owner and over 25 years experience in sales and customer service and has a five-star rating. Sophia has also been a guest speaker on YouTube podcasts and additional webinars offering insightful education and tips about insurance and financial literacy. Anyone that knows Sophia will agree that she is passionate about what she does and takes the time to explain how insurance works. She is thorough, concise, and always offers friendly service. As a farmer agent, she will help you identify the insurance coverage that best fits your needs with the precise, straightforward, and personalized suggestions to help make you smarter about insurance. She has the knowledge, experience to help you better understand your coverage, options, whether that's auto, home, renters, and business, and life insurance. You can reach her on social media platforms and call her at 669-221-7664 or text her at 408-703-0070. If you have suggestions or questions or even want to apply to be another guest on the Close the Deal Show television show, please contact me at www.theclosethedealshow.com. San Francisco Bay Area viewers, you can find us every Monday night on Cable Comcast on Channel 29 and San Francisco or online at 29 period SFC period TV at 830. Here in Los Angeles, you can find us on Charter Spectrum, Channel 36 or 32 or AT&T U-verse Channel 99 through our local listing. Or you can actually look up the Close the Deal show on YouTube worldwide, type my name, Terrence McRae, click my picture, like and comment on your favorite episode. Take good care, everyone, and don't forget, find the right connection and close the deal. But if anyone has any questions or wish to chat with me, I will remain in the chat room on here for a few minutes so everyone can get all the contact information.